Welcome to the Data Scientist Podcast with Dr. Stylianos Kabakis. Dr. Kabakis is a data scientist, statistician, and blockchain expert with a mission to educate the public about the wonderful capabilities of technologies like AI, data science, and DLTs. These technologies have the potential to transform the world, the economy, and our lives. However, there is too much misinformation around tech, and so most people are just confused about what is true and what is not. Whether you are a CEO, an entrepreneur, or just an enthusiast, the Data Scientist Podcast helps you separate reality from hype. Hi, everyone. On this episode, I want to talk about how artificial intelligence is revolutionizing HR. So, artificial intelligence and machine learning, they're now being applied in many, many industries, and human resources is no exception. So I did a bit of like research lately on the different ways through which artificial intelligence can be used in HR. And I found quite a few interesting applications which uh, I'd like to share with you. So AI can be used in HR in two main ways. It can either be used to improve recruitment by ensuring that companies are using, are selecting the right person for the right position. And it can also be used to improve employee experience. So regarding recruitment, it's a relatively straightforward case, but the implementation can be quite complicated. So what I mean by that? So you can see recruitment as a machine learning problem. You have a job description, yeah, and you also have a candidate description, and you just want to do the optimal matching. And if you have a large data set of, let's say, past decisions in recruitment for the same role, and a large database of candidates, then at least on a conceptual level, it is straightforward to understand how you can create a system to match the two, the job with the candidate. But as always with these things, the devil is in the details. Job descriptions can be uh, not what they, they, they seem to be. So quite often an HR department comes up with a description and it might not be 100% accurate. Uh, resumes might not be 100% honest either, or, you know, to people that have the exact same resume, they might have very different personalities, or one person might be more skilled than the other. So there are many issues involved there. But in any case, it makes sense to try and approach this as a machine learning problem. And Amazon is a company that uh, invested lots of money in doing this, but unfortunately for them, they forgot to take bias into account. So this ended up being a peer disaster because Amazon developed this machine learning system to screen CVs for software development positions. And this system was very biased towards male candidates. So basically in favor of male candidates and against female candidates, because most of the people in the database were male. So most of the people applying to work in Amazon in as a software developer were male so the system thought that this is a very important feature so unfortunately this system didn't go as planned and ended up in a peer disaster but there are many benefits to trying to do this thing right yeah without bias given that bigger organizations they have they face so many applications from candidates that at least filtering the most irrelevant ones automatically could really, really boost the efficiency of the whole process. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, one part is making the right recruitment decision. Another part is improving employee experience, yeah? So, improving employee experience can take place through different ways by using AI. One way is to track the communications between employees, but obviously in an anonymous way, in order to understand what's the current sentiment in different departments, yeah? So this can help a company understand whether things are going well or not and act accordingly. Another way through which AI can improve employee experience is in rewarding employees. So you can create, for example, an employee profile and come up with personalized rewards for your employees so that they feel more connected to your company, but they're also happier overall. So pretty much like a recommender system can recommend different you know, different products or services to people that, you know, purchase stuff on Amazon. Likewise, 
you can use this kind of system to come up with personalized rewards. Another way to use AI to improve employee engagement is in training. So this is obviously AI is not, is not only used in HR in this context, it can be used in other contexts. But again, uh, personalizing the learning experience, the retraining experience can be a very good way to improve it, but also re-engage with the employees. And uh, obviously there are some other ways in which AI can be used in HR, besides hiring, recruiting, and making employees happier. One, one such way is to simply deploy chatbots in various departments to answer queries faster. So for example, if someone wants to ask for holidays, let's say, if it's a straightforward request, maybe you can just use a chatbot to do that. Or likewise, if someone wants to apply to work for this company, again, you can ask them to, you know, you can use a chatbot to interact with them. You don't have to think about it so that you, you don't need a human to be in this pipeline and slow things down. So many different applications, many different applications of AI in HR. And these are just some of the applications that I found. I'm not saying that this is an exhaustive list by any means. That's not what I'm saying. And I'm sure that as technology progresses, we're going to be seeing more and more interesting applications coming out. And I believe that the main, the, the companies that would see the greatest benefit from AI in human resources are the bigger companies. However, these companies have the resources and also the data to develop systems like that. However, I believe that smaller companies as well, especially startups, could benefit a lot by understanding how to make better hires. Yeah, so I think that's very, very important. And I expect that once an AI solution for making better hires is going to be deployed, maybe as part of the service of, of a job board or something like that, I expect companies of all sizes to really benefit from it. And uh, personally, something which fascinates me in this area, uh, something which fascinates me in the idea of using machine learning to, in, in recruitment is that you can use many different kinds of information. So you can use, for example, I don't know, like someone's personality features. You know, you can run a personality test. You can, you know, basically use any kind of data around their interests, skills, etc., and use this to make a more informed decision. Yeah. But again, the devil is in the details. As I mentioned, uh, you want to avoid being in the position that Amazon found itself uh, when it created a very biased system. Well, in any case, I hope you found this useful and informative. Let me know what you think. Feel free to drop me an email. Thank you for being with me on this episode and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Make sure to visit thedatascientist.com for more content about data science, AI, and blockchain.